three, two, one. Welcome to the live stream. We're going to be playing at Mahjong time using National Mahjong League rules. If you haven't tried playing at Mahjong time yet, send me an email. And if I have a 30 day VIP coupon code, I'll send it to you so you can try it out. It really is the best place to play in my humble opinion. I've been playing here for years and I really enjoy the community. Also, it's a great place to stay in the game if you don't have a group to play with or build your skills. If you're a beginner and you wanna just improve your game, playing online is one of the best ways to do it. If you are just joining the repost for this live stream, thank you for coming by. I hope you enjoyed the session. We're gonna go ahead and switch over to the live stream now. Welcome to the live stream. Tonight we're going to be playing at Mahjong time using National Mahjong League rules. If you haven't played here yet, send me an email. I have some coupon codes that I can send you so you can try it for 30 days. It really is the best place to play in my opinion. Some people have a little bit of a hard time with the interface at first, but you do get used to it and uh, it is the most realistic in my opinion. Let me check the health of the stream and we're good to go. Welcome to the live stream, everybody. We're gonna be playing American style tonight. American Mahjong. There are four tables going. It looks like a bit of a light population at the moment. Hi, Peg, welcome to the live stream. So good to see you here. Oopsies. Testing chat, it's going good. Hopefully we'll get in some good games at Mahjong time. If you have tried playing at Mahjong time, write in the comment section if you have, and if you haven't, let me know why. Some people are a little bit intimidated by the interface. And if that's the case, I have made some videos that have helped some people. So I'm hoping that that will shorten the learning curve. Hi, Irene. Hi, Graham. Good morning to you, Graham. It's still evening for us. Can you guys hear me okay? I have a, a mic. We've kind of changed my, my microphone and I don't trust it. So I have it right here. You see that? And uh, I don't have uh, full confidence with it, actually. Can you guys hear me okay? I'm gonna go ahead and join a game. Okay, Peg says that you love Mahjong Time, but you're having trouble with Siamese bets. What trouble are you having, Peg? Hi, Lynn from North Carolina, welcome. Okay. Peg says that you're having trouble with Siamese bets. What does that mean? Hi, Peggy. Welcome to the live stream. I'm going to go ahead and join a table. We'll join this uh, six second auto. Here we go. Let's see if we can get in a game. So one of the things that I was thinking about talking about tonight or kind of focusing on as far as playing the game. Hi, Chris. Welcome to the live stream. Hi, Carol. First time on chat. Welcome. I'm glad you found it. Some people don't realize that you can chat. It's in the lower right corner. Hi, Josephine. Welcome to the live stream. So good to have you all here. Oh, we're going to play a game already. And it looks like Graham is here with us. All right, can everybody hear me okay? Here we go. I was just talking about something that I wanna kind of focus on and I'll, I'll share it here after this game. So for this particular set of tiles, I think we should play a two, four, six, eight hand and that way we can leverage all the multiples. We've got two, we've got twos and sixes and to me, that screams evens. Okay. 
So I want to build around the multiples, the twos and the sixes. So let's see if we can use both of them. I'm not sure yet. Hi, Alyeska. So we have tiles we can pass. We don't have to pick a hand yet. I think I'll keep the five crack though, because we could play something consecutive. Four, five, six, two, three, four, five. I want to use the sixes in the twos though. So let's see. That's not helpful. Okay, so now we've got multiples that are not quite gelling. I think we should switch to consecutive run using five, six, seven, eight. Five, six, seven, eight. Let's give up the two. We can't keep them all, so the twos are going. We'll give up the two and play five, six, seven, eight consecutive run. So we switched from evens to consecutive run. We just got a six, that's helpful, for a five, six, seven, eight consecutive run. And we're not playing a particular hand yet. We're at the category level. I'm not picking a hand till I run out of discards. Sometimes, just because of this card, you do need to pick a hand. But I think that we have enough. Oh, I don't want to pass two wins though. Oh, let's give up the seven. Okay, with news on the card, I do not like passing wins together. I hope I made the right choice there. Okay, we got an eight. We have a west three east. I don't want to pass two wins. Let's go ahead and give up on the, let's see, I guess I better get up my card out here. Okay, the addition, sometimes I'm concerned about addition. So if we pass an eight and a three, that's not going to be a problem. Oh, I just gave up a seven. Maybe we'll get it back. So let's see. We have a five, six, five, six, six, seven. Let's give up the eight dot. So I'm still thinking consecutive run, five, six, seven. We got the eight back. We can pass these. Let's see if we can pass three. This was a terrible Charleston, really terrible. Okay, so we're gonna end up with staying in the consecutive run category and we're gonna have probably about five or six discards. Oh, we got the seven back, there we go. All right, now we've got, we've got wins to get rid of here. And it looks like I need to change my settings because I do not like random discards. And it, it looks like they, they did a release. Anytime they do a release, the settings go back to default. So I'm going to discard the wins. It doesn't seem like anybody's playing wins, so I'm going to discard those and keep the numbered tiles because the number tiles may mean opportunities for jokers. So let's get rid of those wins. All right, now we've got all numbered tiles. I want to build around the multiples, five, six, seven. We have multiples with five dot, six crack, seven band. If we can get flowers, we could play the consecutive run mixed suit Kong hand. That would be the fifth one down. We're not ready for that. So we need to discard that. So we're just going to sit tight and collect. Hopefully I won't be collecting more wins because we don't need them. Seems like you get wins and flowers when you don't need them. So the two dot or two bam and the three crack probably can go. Seven characters. Nope. Win to every pick this time. Well, no, that's not true. I think we got a two bam. So I'm hoping for five, six, seven, eight, five, six, seven, eight consecutive run of some kind. Nope, we're not ready for it. I do not claim any discards unless I know the hand I am playing. There's another wind. What is going on? Gremlins already? Seven 
six dots. Look at all those wins, and I think I picked every one of them. Green dragon. Oh, a flower. Nice. Okay, now Two I'm thinking hundreds. the next tile to discard will probably be the three crack and then the nine crack. We can narrow down to five, six, seven consecutive run. We really don't need that three either. Three bamboos. So the three crack and the nine crack can go. We still don't have to pick a hand because we have discards. This, the reason I like to play that way is because it gives me the greatest flexibility. Let's get rid of the three. Now here we could play four, five, six, seven and use one of the pairs. The six crack, for example, is joker bait. So we have a little flexibility still. We can get rid of the nine crack and it won't require us to make any decisions yet. Four characters. We'll discard that. So now we're kind of with uh, four, five, six, seven. I'm thinking we can get rid of the eight crack next because uh, we're really either the four or the eight. Six, one, half dozen, the other, I think. Two characters. Oh yeah, we don't, don't need the two. Whenever I'm working in mixed suits with consecutive run i want between four and five numbers in a range and that two was just way too far off the beaten path uh oh they need six flowers well that's not true they could be playing the first two four six eight hand or the first Three, six, nine hand, in which case they only need three flowers. Three. But we don't know that yet. Okay, there's a eight dot already out. Let's get rid of it. Eight dot. Oh, yeah, that's Joker's already eight out. Flowers. There's a flower. Let's get rid of the four dot. So I'm thinking eight five, dot. six, seven consecutive Kong hand mixed suits. <clears throat> We could also maybe play the five, six concealed pung hand. We don't need a one. one dot. Five, six, seven consecutive run Kong hand. The fifth one down is what I'm thinking. North or North. the consecutive run pung hand using fives and sixes. Characters. Okay, we're not ready for it. So now we're gonna need two jokers if we're gonna play that. So we need help. We're definitely an underdog on this game. One character. Let's see if we can maybe get some jokers out of some of these single tiles. One dot. I don't think any of them are out One yet. Dot. There's a seven dot out actually. Let's see, seven dot and an eight crack. Seven dot eight crack. There is a six bam out. So those three probably are good candidates for discards. Nine okay, let's discard the seven dot. Seven dot. So we have maybe a five, six, seven, eight second hand eight down bamboo. potential in either cracks or dots with Nine the bams. I think the six bam can go next or the eight, eight crack. Wind. wind. Don't need a wind. West wind. Can you guys hear me okay? Give me give me a thumbs up or say yes in the com or uh oh we needed that. Uh, let me know. Player to your left needs six dots. Yes, yes they do. I'm gonna hold that because ooh ooh. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of that now. We're heading into the end game. I may just switch to defense. Okay. So flower, two flowers with Kong. They're playing the three, six, nine hand. So they need dots. Pass on that, hold that. Let's get rid of the eight crack. I think I'm just gonna switch to defense on this. Three dots. Okay, three, oh, I'm glad I didn't throw that. Okay, Lynn asked, I would have to rearrange my, oh, here, let me congratulate the winner real quick here. 
Okay, so, oh, it was, it was Graham. Very nice, Graham. <laughs> Yay me. Okay, so Lynn says, I would have to rearrange my tiles to keep my head straight. Is that just a time waste for beginner or for advanced, for an advanced beginner? Lynn, are you talking about when you, when you actually pick a hand that you move your discards? put the tiles in order. Yeah, and I I usually do that, but because of this particular situation that we were in, I was trying to stay at the category level, so I didn't want to narrow down to one particular hand. I wanted to stay fluid, and that's why I left the tiles in sequence. So let's see if we can get into another game. And that kind of leads me into something that my husband and I were talking about um, based on a comment that I got on some of, well, really it's a recurring comment that I get on my videos, a lot of my videos actually. So, um, let's see if we can find a, a direction first and then I'll explain. I'm thinking six, two, four, six, eight evens or consecutive run again, uh, building around the sixes. We really don't need the one or the nine unless we play three, six, nine. Let's see, we have to make a choice or get rid of the red. Let's go ahead and get rid of the red dragon. So we're kind of in between evens, consecutive run, and three, six, nine right now. Three categories at the moment. So I wanna wait until the multiples come in to drive the decision. So now we have two pair, six, seven, consecutive run. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna focus on consecutive run. So now we could maybe keep, no, I think we should just focus on consecutive run, pure and simple. Six, seven, eight, six, seven, eight, nine, something like that. Here's another seven. We could do five, six, seven, eight. So we'll keep the five. We need tiles to pass. So let's go ahead and pass the nine crack, the two dot, we have a six, seven, five, four, five, six, seven, five, seven, nine, three. Oh, let's get rid of the three. This is a little bit of a risky pass. Hi, oh, Cheryl, hey, hey, hey. Cheryl and I played Mahjong yesterday. <laughs> yeah, I had a really good day yesterday. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, um, we did pick up a two bam. We could potentially play a two, four, six, eight hand. So let's continue the Charleston here. Uh, Graham's asking, anyone have trouble with the desktop app on Mac? I have heard a lot of people having trouble with the Mac lately. I don't know what is going on with the Mac. Since I don't use it, let's go ahead and give up on the five and focus on either two, four, six, eight or consecutive run. So Cheryl, thank you for coming to the live stream. And it was really fun playing with you uh, yesterday. Okay, we've got a four, three, one. We're really focused here on two, four, six, eight in BAMs. So I think the four can go. And then the other option is consecutive run with six, seven, eight of some kind. Okay, Graham, the um, Siamese Mac platform is a little bit sketchy at the moment. I think they're working on it. We did pick up a four, so we now have a gap filled for two, four, six, eight in one suit with BAMs. So uh, we could potentially use the seven BAMs as joker bait, or we could play um, a six, seven consecutive run. I really don't like passing white dragons we really don't need it, and I do not like passing two wins together because of news. I think I'll go ahead and pass the white dragon as opposed to passing a wind, two wins together. Okay, no keepers, and we've got tiles to pass. We really don't have to pick a hand yet. I like to stay at the category level till I run out of yeah, discards. Yeah. So we have four discards. This was a better Charleston than the first one. We have four discards with Joker bait or six discards, which, oh, there's a kicker right there. So I'm thinking we should probably play two, four, six, eight category and use the sevens as Joker bait. 
Okay. Nine characters. All right, so we have three discards with Joker bait. Now we have two pair of Joker bait here. Let's see if we can... I don't think there's anything we can do with these two, though. Unless we play six, seven, eight, nine. If we get an eight dot, we could go back to... We're going to get rid of that white dragon. We could go back to consecutive run. So we're in between two, four, six, eight category or consecutive run category. And since I have discards, I have not picked a hand. And, and I will not take a discard to make an exposure just because. We did get a green dragon, which corresponds to the BAM suit. I'm thinking we could maybe play the concealed 2468 hand. It's looking like the 2468 hand is the strongest right now. But we could even use that dragon with the, a 67 Kong hand with the dragon. So we'll see. I think we could get rid of the nines first, the nine dots. But what I was um, commenting about earlier was about the fact that I do not pick a hand until I run out of discards and that is really uncomfortable for a lot of players. Many players, I'd say most players probably find, you know, when they get their drawn tile, they pick a hand right away. And I don't play that way. I think that staying at the category level for as long as possible uh, is a stronger strategy and usually has winning results more times than not. We're not going to take that. So my husband and I were kind of talking about it and he's a writer, so he has a really good vocabulary. So we were trying to kind of pick some words that explain the style of play and the, and the differences. So we came up with adaptive versus, and I forgot it, hold on. Let me get rid of that wind. Okay, I already forgot it. You can tell, let's see. Okay, adaptive versus fixed. That's what we were talking about. So basically, adaptive is where you stay at the category level until you run out of discards, or you don't pick a hand until you run out of discards. That's an adaptive style because you stay flexible and you gather tiles that build around your multiples until you run out of discards, and then you pick a hand. That's an adaptive style. And then you have the fixed style where you see your tiles, you pick a hand, and you focus on that hand alone. That would be called fixed, a fixed style. So tell me what you guys think about that. <laughs> you can see him walking around in the background sometimes in some of my videos, and we joke sometimes about him uh, coming in here. If he walks by, I'll have him poke his head in. Okay, we don't want that. All right, so tell me what you guys think about style of play. And do you see that not only in yourself, but in the players in your group? Do you see more fixed style of play or adaptive style of play? I would really love to hear your thoughts on that. And if you're watching the repost on this, please write it in the comment section below because I'm thinking about doing a video series on this topic. Four bamboos. Okay, we're not taking that. I'm considering playing either the first 2468 hand or the concealed hand, so I don't want to claim any discards. Six characters. We're just going to bide our time. And I'm going to hold the nines as joker bait. One dot. Graham says it makes more sense to me to be adaptive. Well, I agree because that's, I, I mean, it's easy for me to say that because that's my style. That's my style of play. I like Seven to characters. stay um, flexible. Okay, we finally got the eight dot. Okay, let's discard the green dragon. Green dragon. So we're going to have to make a choice. I still Seven. think, I think that we are, let's count tiles. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven versus one, two, Seven. three, four, five, six, seven. We're in between uh, consecutive run in two, four, six, eight. So we're going to have to pick a, pick a, uh, category, uh, probably sooner rather than later. 
there's a six bam I'm not gonna take it I think we're two we have two um, yeah we won't take that either I think we're gonna switch to two four six eight concealed so that we're not gonna stick our neck out there we'll just play concealed and maybe try to get some jokers out of these pairs I didn't think we had a strong enough uh, eight bam collection to take that six bam for the first two four six eight hand and we only had one flower one flower and one joker so I did not want to commit to the first hand it was too weak I think that we're better off to play the concealed hand maybe and if somebody puts out uh, flowers with a joker we might even be able to get a joker okay so we got a two so that's nice okay we got a mahjong two four six eight with flowers okay very nice boy we've had a couple of rough starts let's see if we could get a better start oh what is going on here Anytime I took to look to the left, it's because I'm looking at the chat. Oh, I missed the opportunity to play. All right, let's pick another table. Okay, so it looks like everyone's talking about Siamese Mahjong, which is a two-player game. Two-player, two-handed. And I hope to be doing live streams on Siamese Mahjong on the third Sunday of each month. So instead of playing the regular um, Mahjong on the third Sunday, I'll be playing a, a Siamese Mahjong. Because there is a community of players who I think would love to play Siamese Mahjong. So hopefully we'll get some players in here. Um, for this month, I am not going to be doing a live stream on the 21st because I'm going to be in Savannah. And I, I will not have my usual computer setup. Whenever I do these live streams, I have two monitors. And if I'm going to be doing a live stream in Savannah, I would need... I would have a laptop, which is a really small screen, and I think it would be really hard to, to do a live stream uh, in Savannah. Okay, excellent, uh, Lynn. Okay, so Marsha. Marsha says that when she first learned she was fixed but switched to adaptive, it's the only way to get out of my comfort zone. Okay, well, that's good. That's interesting. Okay, here we go. Let's see. Let's hope for a better start this time. These um, onsets have been really difficult. Again, we have, look at the spread here. I guess I'm going to be tested tonight. So we have a pair of flowers and a pair of twos. That's what I'm going to build around. I'm going to keep the dragon because we could play like numbers with twos. And I think maybe two, four, six, eight we could keep. But already we have to pick something because... We have only two tiles to pass, and I don't want to pass like numbers. Two, four, let's get rid of the four bam and the nine dot, and that way we can mix it up. Cheryl says adaptive is the way to go unless a hand comes to you right away. Yeah, sometimes, especially with this card, I've noticed that I pick a hand earlier than in other years, and I don't know if it's this card or if it is something else. Uh, but I typically wait until I get rid of my discards before I pick a hand. I think, you know what I think it is? It's just the availability of the hands this year are driving a quicker decision on a particular hand. So now we have two pairs of twos. I'm thinking we should probably go ahead and focus on like numbers with twos 
or we could even play a quint with no jokers. Uh, let's see, Chris says, sometimes your tiles scream a certain hand, but I try to remain adaptive as I draw tiles because things change so quickly. Yes, absolutely. I agree 100%. That's why I like to uh, stay fluid at the category level. In other words, adaptive. I really like that. Uh, oh, look at that pass. Like numbers with sevens. We need to break these up. We really are heavier into twos, though. We're kind of in between like numbers with twos and the red dragon. Let's break up the seven. Okay, we're going to focus on twos. Can't keep it all. Okay, we got tiles to pass, thank goodness. So let's go ahead and send off a seven. Send these kind of separately here. I try to look ahead a pass. So I pick a pass for, for the current pass and then I l kind of envision what the next pass might be. So I wouldn't, for example, want to pass a 5.9.4 BAM because that leaves me with like numbers. If I get all keepers, then I have to pass like numbers. So I like to mix it up. Let's go ahead and pass these three. I think the 574, they're all gonna be equally risky. So we're left with a five, seven, and two suits. There's always gonna be some level of risk in every pass. You just want to mitigate the risk. And we have three tiles we can pass here. I'm thinking probably we could play either the like numbers with dragons concealed or like numbers with dragons exposed, one or the other. And we have tiles we can pass, one of each suit. If you're just joining us in the live stream, say hi in chat. I'd love to know who's in the room. So we can say hi. Okay, no keepers. Um, we have tiles we can pass. Let's hope they want three. They want two. Let's keep the three for potential consecutive run. Oh, no, no. Yeah, yeah. Because we still have tiles we can pass that are not too bad. I might hmm, to find it in the middle space here. Okay, we got a three. We'll just hold that. All right, so we probably have six discards with joker bait Seven maybe something like that we're we're Eight in the con the uh, like number category someone's thinking about wins Four bamboos. okay there's no keeper there Seven bamboos. One dot. I may have used all my luck up yesterday in the live game. Okay, we got a one. So now we have some consecutive run potential here. Two, three, one, two, dragon, flowers. Or, or we could do like numbers with twos or use one of the twos as joker bait. There's all kinds of potential there. I think we should keep that three. Characters. We still don't have to pick a hand till we run out of Seven discards. Characters. I think the six can go, and then the threes can go maybe. Six now we have two, three consecutive pung hand concealed. Let's get rid of the three crack next. Three and then maybe the one bam after that. If we did the two, three concealed pung hand, we could use the flowers, which would be good because they're so hard to get. Or we could use the flowers with the like number dragon hand with flowers, the very first one. But we have no jokers and no pungs, so we're kind of 
you know, in a precarious space at the moment. Nine dots. And now we have a one. Three. One, two, three in two suits with pairs in the middle. That is not a hand. We could do one, two, one, two consecutive run. There's one, one dot out. There's a four. We don't need that. So we're focused on either like numbers with twos or consecutive run with either one, two, or two, three. Marsha, yeah, too many choices. I know. I'm on my toes right now. You know what I was thinking? I wonder if we could switch to the big year hand, but we have no cracks. If I get cracks and dragons, maybe we could switch to the big year hand. Let's just wait and see. Five bamboos. We can get rid of the threes, maybe. Oh, there's a seven. The, the big year hand would be the last hand under singles and pairs. Since we have no um, jokers, that should be on the list for a potential hand. Okay, there's an eight crack. Let's keep it. So let's get rid of the three dot next. And if we can gather one, two, eight in cracks and bams and maybe some more dragons, we might be able to make that year hand work. Or, you know, what we could do potentially is the 2018 second hand down with twos. That might be even better than... Let's just pull off the dragons real quick. So it would be 2018 with twos there. So we have two discards really before we have to decide. So this would be the second hand down under the year hand or the year category. Either that or the big year hand if we can get a one and a two crack. And then of course dragons, which none are out right now. Uh, let's get rid of the three dot. Three dot. I'm thinking the the one dot eight dot can go. Six we need the bams. The the year hand one is character. bams and cracks only. The big year hand. Nine bamboos. Okay, let's get rid of the one. One dot. This is not helpful at all. So we have twos and eights. One Pass on that. Okay, we're, we're going to have to probably decide here. I think we could go ahead and get rid of the eight. The, both eights, actually. Oh, there's a one. Okay, that 2018 hand might be coming in. There are three eight bams right now that have been discarded. So if that eight bam goes out, that's going to make the big pair hand uh, in... Um, in, not invalid, but um, what word am I looking for? Not viable. Not, oh, there it is. Okay, so we're not going to do the big year hand. So we could probably go ahead and get rid of the red dragon. Okay, let's get rid of the eight crack. And at this point, we need to probably, we could get rid of the one bam before we really have to decide but um, we're, I'm thinking we're in between like numbers with twos or the second hand down under the year category. Okay, now we're going to have to decide here pretty quick. Now, if we did the uh, second hand down for the year category, we're set. We need two flowers, 2018. There's one two crack out, but we can Kong the twos right now. If we did the like numbers with twos and dragons, we can get rid of this green dragon. So let's get rid of the green dragon. We technically do not have to pick a hand yet. We're still in between. Um, Peg says, adaptive makes me feel nervous as I watch the walls disappear. Definitely. Yeah, that's, that's a good point. I still think it's the strongest way to play, though. Everybody has their own style, their own preference. And comfort level, though. And that has to be taken into consideration, too. Okay, we don't need that. 
We have one, two, three more picks and two discards. I think we probably can go ahead and commit to the second hand down because we're set for it. My concern is that there are none out of either of those tiles. And everybody's, or the other two players, South and West, are both concealed at the moment. So we have no idea what they're playing. Green dragon. Yeah, we don't need that. Maybe someone will take it. Uh, well, at least it's a safe tile. Green dragon. Yeah. We'll throw it. This 6 BM should be safe. There are three out. We have two discards and only one more pick, so we should switch to defense. Unless... Okay, no. I'm going to discard. We'll discard a joker. There's no way to win at this point. Three bamboos. Okay, the twos were across from me. We were fighting each other. South and I, the dragons were over here to the left, although if we played the year hand, we only needed one. And the two cracks were all over here, and there was one out. So the hand I was trying for never would have come in. So that was a wall game. Good defense for everybody, I think. All right, well, let's see what we can do with this next hand. I'd like to get a win under my belt, so I'm going to stay adaptive. Once I win a game, just because it feels good, then we'll play a fixed hand, and we'll talk about it. Yep, all those dragons. Well, if you think about it, three of us were holding dragons and twos, and all of us, let's see, three of us were holding dragons, two of us, or three of us were holding twos. So it was a perfect storm. Yeah, not good. But, you know, that's kind of part of the American style of play. It happens. You don't really see that happening as much in Asian versions. The game is so flexible. You can really change your hand up until the very last pick. Okay, here we go. Well, let's hope for a good start. Okay, we have a multiple with our wins, a pair of north. So guess what? This is going to be a really good example of how targeted onset works because we're going to target wins and dragons. We're just going to hold all the wins and dragons, and then I'm going to pick options. In the Wind and Dragon category, besides dragons and flowers, there are north and south with evens. And we have even or uh, north and south with odds. East and west go with evens. So I think we could go ahead and keep the even or the odds and get rid of the evens. So we could pass one of each suit here. So we're gonna focus on winds and dragons. If we pair up, maybe we could even play a quint. We picked up a multiple with the seven and a nine. So let's give up on the threes. Let's see here. Seven, six, seven, eight, nine, six, seven, eight, nine, six, seven, seven, nine. Uh, let's see. Seven, eight, nine, three. Let's give up the three bam, the six, and north and south with red. Let's pass the white. I want to leave myself options. I really don't like passing white dragons, but this will be interesting. We could even maybe play a quint here. Okay, we got a wind, a wind, and an eight. Here's a three, five that we can pass. Let's get rid of, let's see, we have seven, eight, or seven, eight, nine. Let's give up the eight crack. I'm thinking we could maybe even play a seven, eight, nine consecutive run because of the way the multiples are, but I'm really hoping maybe we could force a quint here. Now we have a, a pung here with the sevens. I'm thinking let's keep the sevens and the wins and see if we can force a quint 
or a wind hand. Two eight nine. Let's break up the nine dot. So I want to focus on sevens. If we get the south, we could play north and south with sevens, for example. Or we could play a quint, north, seven crack, red dragon. The first quint, maybe. We've got tiles to pass now. Let's go ahead and send off, send off the nine dot again to a different player. There's a lag probably in the live stream. The game is not getting stuck for me. I haven't had any performance issues yet, thank goodness. It, the last couple times, or the last three times I've played, I haven't had performance issues. Okay, so here we have a west. Let's go ahead and pass 9BM, 4Crack, 8Crack. Let's see. Let's keep the 8 and pass the 5 because there is potential with 7-8 red, but we have all these winds that can go the east west probably are not going to be helpful let's just wait and see okay we have an option now with a green let's pass these three. Oh, they want two perfect let's see six eight four eight let's pass the four and the eight Excuse me, I burped. Okay, well, I think either people are keeping wins or they're in the wall. I'm thinking we could either play wins and dragons or quit with wins. We're going to have to draw well because this is looking pretty sketchy. This is, this is going to be called forcing a quint or forcing a wind hand, really. This is a good example of forcing a hand Bamboo. based on one pair. Bamboo. We started out with one pair in the uh, drawn hand. Nine bamboos. Okay, now the four crack is out. So at this point, I want to keep the tiles that are fresh. So... Any tile that is discarded, I want to discard those because I want to maximize my potential for getting jokers out of the remaining tiles in my hand. We have another multiple now with the wind. So a wind hand is still a possibility. We don't have to pick a hand till we run out of discards. We're not taking that. Not yet. Okay, we've got a pair of dragons. I think we should definitely commit to a quint here. So we can keep the dragons. We'll just keep the all these wins. Even, a, even though a west is out, we could draw that other one. Oh, let's get rid of the red. Okay, if we get the seven dot, we could play north and south with sevens. Pairs of sevens. So let's go ahead and keep that pair of seven bams for now. I think maybe we can downgrade the west since one is out. There's a flower. Okay, that makes me think about the potential for like numbers with sevens. Maybe the norths were just a fun idea. I don't know if it's going to pan out. We'll have to see. The West, I think, can go next. We don't need that one, though. There are two out. I want to try to keep fresh tiles. Maximize the potential for jokers. Especially because we have only one... If we played like numbers with sevens, the greens can be joker bait. Two bamboos. Oh, we don't need that. One bamboo. Red dragon. 
four characters. So we're in between a quint with wins and sevens or like numbers with sevens. We don't need a one. It's already out. Everybody's concealed, Three characters. which sometimes Nine is not helpful because we don't know what everybody's so doing. Nice. And there's no chance for jokers with no... Oh, okay, there's another flower. When so now we have a pum and two pair towards Nine like numbers with sevens. I'm thinking we should give up on the quint and focus on like numbers with sevens and flowers. Even though I would have loved to have played a quint, it's not the way the tiles are coming in. I want to leverage the multiples. And that would be probably like numbers with flowers. Second hand down, we'd use the green dragons as joker bait. So we're going to hold on to that until right about... Oh, there's the north. The quint is back on the table. The quint is back on the table. Nine Let's see what happens. We need jokers. Long. No. Oh, dang it. Okay, we need jokers. Or we need someone to put out some exposures with jokers. <laughs> That's what we really need. There are no seven bams out. And someone Nine threw... Done. There are two, two flowers out. Nobody took them. So I don't know if those flowers are going to be good for Joker bait. We need to start getting rid of them, though. Let's get rid of the flowers first. There's the green dragon. Okay, this is looking better. We, are, we need one Joker to get set on the quint. Okay, we're going to Kong that. Get rid of the flower. And we have a pair of Joker bait. We can quint one of these. And then we just need to wait for a joker. We have, we're heading into the end game now, and all we need is a joker to get set. So we have joker bait right now. There are no sevens out. So I really probably need to get rid of the seven right about my next pick. You want to get rid of joker bait and fresh tiles, valuable tiles, around the end of the third wall, which is right about now. So let's get rid of the seven and see if anybody takes it. Seven nope, nobody wanted it. So that was a safe tile, I guess. There are two four bams out. So we are going to have to pick Six a joker. Eight characters. Two, three eight cracks are eight out. Characters. Nine bamboos. We Six need bamboos. a joker badly. Six characters. Come on, Joker. Two eight bams are out. Two four Six bams are out. Bamboos. One seven bam. I need to get rid of that probably right quick. Six bamboos. Two characters. Three bamboos. We'll get rid of that. That seven dot seven came bamboos. in, although we never did see the souths, and there are no souths out. One which is very disconcerting. There are no Norths or Souths out. So that makes me think that somebody is playing North and South, North and South with odds. Okay, we need to get rid of that five. There are none out. We're in the end game. You do not want to have fresh tiles for that reason. So there's a five dot available in a joker there. I need it. One character. Nine cracks, seven dot, four bam. They're all out. Let's get rid of the four. Oh, it doesn't matter. I wasn't quick enough. If you're not quick enough, the game will discard for you. I want to know who's playing north and south. Seven They're all out. Four oh, very interesting. <gasps> There's a quint. quint. Eight okay, we need a joker Six and a north. We've got two Six more picks. Bamboos. Joker. Okay, sevens are out. 
Out. Out. Seven bamboos. One more pick. Probably not going to be possible. The seven's at least a safe discard. I'm looking forward to seeing who has my north. Joker. And I picked a flower. Seven dots. That would not. Oh, there are four. There are seven flowers out right now, so that would have been a safe discard anyway. Over here, north and south with fives to my left. Graham. Graham was playing north and south. Oh, bummer. Okay, another wall game. That's interesting. All right, you know what I forgot to do is look at everybody's hand before. So we had a one, two, three consecutive run first hand. They were ready on a three dot. They needed a three dot or a four dot. Then over here, we have two, four, six, eight concealed hand. They were... They, it looks like they needed a two dot or an eight dot. They were one away. They had one discard. And then Graham was playing north and south with pairs of fives, but he couldn't get the norths because I had them. All right, let's see if we can play again. Oh, your hand was dead because of the fives. The fives were all out. I didn't notice. Okay, let's see if we can play another game. I want to stick with the adaptive play until I win, and then we'll do a hand where I'm fixed, and we'll compare. You had three jokers for the Norths. I noticed you had one identified there. Okay, here we go. All right, we have one multiple pair of fours. I'm thinking a two, four, six, eight hand or one, two, three, four, probably two, four, six, eight. We have a Northwest. We do have some year capability here. Let's get rid of the green, the three and the one dot. So we could play either two, four, six, eight or a year hand with the wins. Okay, we didn't get any keepers. Uh, okay, we've got discards here. We're focused on either 2468, maybe a mixed suit 2468, or a year hand with wins. So let's see what comes in. We have one multiple, the four. So this is kind of a targeted onset again where we're focused on building around the fours since those are the only the only multiple. Oh, look what we got, wins. We got wins. Let's give up the nine, and let's go ahead and, and give up on the six. Uh, let's see, actually, if we're gonna play a year hand, oh, you know what I was thinking? If we're getting wins, maybe more will come. Let's give up on the six and the four. We'll break up the multiple because we do have a multiple with the north. But if we get wins, we could play a wind hand or a year hand. Here's a south and an eight. Okay, so we have a four. We have to pick. So we're going to keep going with the Charleston. And in order to send off a, a more defensive pass, let's go ahead and give up on the bands. So we can pass a seven, four, one. That would be somewhat safe. And I think we're gonna be playing here the news year hand concealed. And then look what we get, a pair of eights. Okay, so let's see here, 2018, 2018, seven we can get rid of. We really don't need multiples with these the eight we can get rid of, we have to pick.
let's go back let's go back to the bam maybe we'll get the one bam back and give up the eight dot there's the one bam and a south Urf. okay now we're pairing up our uh we have our 2018 here okay let's see we have to choose now let's go ahead and give up the wins at this point and see if we can get the bams back so we have a joker that we can use so we have our news and 2018 we just need to pair up oh we got it oh my goodness look what we got are you kidding me all right so we got like numbers and i'm not passing that on i'm just not going to do it so i'm going to break up my hand and i'm going to switch to news or a news hand or north and south with ones and we're only going to pass two tiles let's see here let me think a minute because since we're on optional cross i'm going to say no tiles i'm not going to pass any i'll keep them all because we're in between north and south with ones or news year hand concealed so we have options we'll just keep them all So let's see how this goes. This is this is going to be another rough start. And we lead off with throwing a dragon, which we need for the news year hand anyway. Don't need a four. We did earlier. If I had played that two, four, six, eight hand, who knows if that would have come in. One character. Okay north and south with ones or the year concealed hand with news there's an east let's go ahead and give up on the one one character. i'm thinking that the news a news hand is going to be the best at this point primarily because we have a pung and a pair in wins we'll pass on that there's a west Maybe I should have been playing wins all night. Remember all those wins I got in that earlier hand? Oh, geez. Okay, so you know what I was just thinking? If we get a three bam, maybe we could play the news pair hand and get rid of the joker. Let's get rid of the two dot. Probably this the news Kong hand, third hand down might be the best choice we're going to have to make a decision if an east or a west or a north go down one bamboo we'll pass on that okay there was a hesitation at the south. table uh oh there's the second south we might have to play the concealed news hand and use jokers for the south because the second south just went down yes this is a crazy hand right now I mean, we were in 2468, consecutive run, the year, and Winds and Dragons. I mean, we were on every panel of the card. Two characters. You know what I was just thinking? Two characters. Oh, never mind. I was thinking if we could pair up, we could maybe even do a quint, but that would require discarding two wins. Oh, look at what we got. A flower so I think the news concealed hand is probably going to be the best hand we have three discards so really we don't have to commit just yet we still could play the Kong hand maybe but the south is the weakness at the moment the south is the weakness there are two out that's the kicker Okay, I'm not going to take it. We're going to we're going to play the concealed news hand. And the reason I did not take that north is because 
there are two south south and we only have one there's only so one more out north. if that south went down and i committed to that north we would have been painted in a corner painted into a corner big time in bare feet hmm. so we have joker bait that's the okay we're not taking that we're going to play a concealed hand east wind nope there's a joker okay that's that's nice okay so we can use the joker to help us out with the winds that keep going down Ace, Primarily the south. We've got Joker Bait with the two. Although I think I want to get rid of these pretty quick because that player across from me could be playing the two four six eight hand. I'm gonna get rid of the two now. Two bamboos. I don't want to be holding on to a pear tile for them. Six bamboos. If they're playing the two four six eight, the first two four six eight hand, and they need a pair of twos, I'm just gonna get rid of them now. Okay, there's two five dots and three nine cracks out. So those are both safe discards. And we're right in probably the middle of the middle game at the moment. Nine bamboos. Four bamboos. Two, they're all out. Five dots. Six dots. East wind. No. Now we need to commit that. That joker's East committed. There's one seven crack East out. Dots. I should throw that next because we're really, we're kind of heading seven towards the end. Characters. Oh, there we go. Oh, I was hoping someone would take that. We're heading into the end, the end of the middle game, so we need to get rid of these fresh tiles, really. And there's only one uh, three bam out. Let's get rid of that. They could be playing a three six nine hand, and there was a hesitation there. The three six nine, the first three six nine hand, is another possibility. I mean, they could be playing anything. It's really hard to tell what someone's doing with one exposure out. Oh, we got the other flower. Nice. Seven okay, so we need one more tile. Nine we need the south or the west or a Seven joker. Bamboos. Southwest or joker will do it for us. There's one, oh no, three nine cracks are out. So we have a good safe discard here. Six characters. We need a west or a south or a joker. Oh, bummer. Okay. One, three, five concealed. Very nice. Okay, over here, Plet was playing um, I don't know. I'm not sure what she was playing. She may have switched to defense. For Yeah, I don't know what's going on there. Okay, Graham was playing a 2468 hand, probably staying at the category level. Probably in between 2468, the second from the bottom in that category. And then, of course, it's obvious what we're doing here. News concealed. Okay, here we go. Oh, Peggy, you pushed the wrong button. Were you playing 456? Or what hand were you trying to play? It looked like you were in between consecutive run and 369. I wasn't sure. And then it looks like you just switched to defense. I hate pushing the wrong button. And then you got to make it work. You <laughs> I've had lots of those. Yeah. Oh, look, here's a table we can join. 
Oh, did I miss it? Are you kidding? Oh my goodness. All right, let's join another table. Look at look at all these players now. Nice. Lots of tables, full house almost. Okay, let's see if we can join a game. Why what's going on here? Why isn't it letting me join a game? What in the world? What happened? My computer's freaking out at the moment. What is going on? Join. What? Join. No. What? I'm confused. Hold on. I thought I'm very confused. Why does it say join and join? Join? It looks like I'm part of this, but I don't want to be a part of this. I don't want to do a marathon. What is going on? Very weird. Um, hmm. Okay, here we go. I have no idea what that was all about. It was probably my fault. Okay, here we go. Let's hope we have a winner. We haven't had a winner yet. We've had a few wall games, and I think I paid. I think I threw someone's winning hand. So we need a winner in here. All right, so here I see a lot of five seven, five seven nine, or four five six seven. I think we get rid of the ones and the threes, but we need to pick a category because I'm not going to pass like numbers. Let's see, we do have some capability of a pair hand, even though we have no flowers. I'm thinking the one three five seven nine pair hand. Let's see, we have five, seven. Let's go ahead and get rid of the consecutive runs and focus on either big odds or odds in general. Really leveraging the pair of seven cracks. And we have tiles we can pass here. Put that dot where it belongs. So we're focused on odds. The odds category, maybe a pair hand. We'll see. We have a gap for the pair hand, so I do like to keep it in mind, though, because the pair hand is mixed suits. We got a one crack. That's a keeper. We don't have to pick a hand because we have discards. So we're really in the odd category, and it could be any, any of those hands in there except the ones with the dragons because we have no dragons. We got a one, another multiple. So we have tiles, we can pass two. So we need to give something up here. We have one, five, seven, nine. We're missing a three crack for a full range. Five, seven, nine, one, three, seven. I think we should give up the seven because we might still be able to pull off a pair hand or we could even maybe play the second hand from the bottom under odds. It's a long shot, but the capability is there maybe. Oh, we got a keeper, a seven. I don't think a pair of hands gonna work. So we'll keep the seven. Let's give up the east and the two. And let's go ahead and give up on the five bam because actually let's keep the five bam. I'm thinking, I was thinking we could play maybe the hand uh, second from the bottom. Yeah, we have no dragons. I was thinking we could keep the five bam for a knitted potential, um, but I don't think that was going to work. We don't have any dragons. Okay, we need a three crack to fill a gap. I'm thinking the odd hand. We've got an eight. That could help if we play something consecutive. We can definitely get rid of the six first. This is terrible. Six discards.
this has been kind of a rough night. But I'm sure you can relate. Okay, we're waiting for a discard. There we go. Pung. Wow, that was quick. A pung. A pung of dragons. East wind. One gun. Okay, a pung of dragons. They could be playing a knitted hand. That would be the Three only... Dragons. Oh. Two there are knitted hands in the consecutive run category, the odd category, and the 369 category that uses a pungs of One dragons. Gun. Oh, and there's that dragon. I could have had that joker. Green dragon. That's a bummer. Okay, so a knitted hand with a pung of dragons exposed. Second hand from the bottom under consecutive run. Wind. Then the fourth hand down under odds. The or the second from the bottom under 369. Let's get rid of the three. We do have some consecutive run coming in here. If we can get a six crack, we can switch to the consecutive run hand, the very first one. If we can get that six crack, there are none out. So we're in between we're in between odds and consecutive run. In which case I'm gonna keep the six eight nine. Who knows if we'll be able to use them. One character. No, we're not taking that. I think we're stronger towards, well, we're really in between. Oh, six crack. Nice. Five okay, five through nine consecutive run first hand, maybe. We have Eight three crack. discards with Joker bait, although nobody wanted the one crack. One character. And there's a second one crack. Two I'm just going to hold these tiles to see if we could maybe get a joker out of them. There are none out of any of them. I think maybe the one cracks are not going to be needed. Let's focus on consecutive run five through. Oops, I should have kept that. I could have kept that. Nobody wanted it, so it's fine. But... I was thinking if we get red dragons and flowers, we could maybe even play a pair hand. Oh, one crack. One character. All those cracks are pretty. Six dots. Yeah, we have five discards. This is a rough start again. West wind. And the other thing is, there are one two nine cracks out right now. We would need two jokers. Six dot. Five, six, seven, eight dot. eight dot. There's two eight dots. I think I had an, an, three eight dots are out. Two bamboos. Okay, ooh, there's a flower. Two okay, let's keep it. Let's see what we can do here. We do have a pair of nine bams that we might be able to use as joker bait. I was just thinking we could maybe try to use them, but uh, it's kind of late. Uh, let's get rid of the West. It's late because there are three eight dots out, and I think I threw one of them. Either that or I passed it in the Charleston. I was thinking we could maybe play seven eight cons with dragons, but we have no dragons, and there's our dragon right there. Okay, let's keep the four. Maybe if we get red dragons, we could play a pair hand. East wind. Because we do have a consecutive run here. Two bamboos. Five bamboos. Not helpful. Eight so bamboos. we are strongest, I think, with huh. the consecutive run. Okay, they're playing. Wait a minute. What are they? Oh, they're playing knitted. Uh, seven, eight, nine. So seven, eight, nine. They or let's see, yeah, seven, eight, nine. They they need a seven and a nine in in a suit, probably dots because none are out. 
I'm going to hold this nine dot and see if we could get a joker out of it. These nines are out, so are the ones. One bamboo. That eight bam is out. I mean, it one is available. Bamboo. There's one eight bam available still, so that joker's viable there. We got kind of a mess. North wind. Oh, eight bam. Thank you. Eight bamboo. Okay. I'm going to get rid of the nine bam. We needed that really badly. I, I might have con not considered taking that um, in other situations, but we're, I want to win. I'm pushing to win. Six characters. We don't need that. That's the first one out. We need a five crack and a six crack for pairs. There are no fives out, and there's one six out. I'm kind of thinking we should maybe play the 7-8 Kong hand or defense at this point because we're now in the end game and I have like five discards. I am not going to take that joker. I do not want to make them jokerless. Oh, shoot. We could make them jokerless if we take that nine. You want to try to leave a joker out. Let's pung it. Pung. Hmm. Four characters. Okay, here's the deal. If I get a five crack or a six crack in time, I will take that nine dot. Three dot. Even if it means making them jokerless. Because then I would be ready to win. Three bamboo. So let's see what happens. East wind. We still have quite a wall left here. So I'm just going to hold on to that nine dot for a while. Let's see what happens. We need a five crack or a six crack. West wind. White dragon. Normally you want to leave a joker exposed in three exposures. Because you do not want them jokerless. Let's get rid of the flower. Bamboo. That was close. Oh, I, I think nobody wants to throw flowers right now. That was really risky. Oh my gosh, everybody was holding on to flowers. Oh no. Eight characters. There's the six. Four bamboo. Okay. Let's just stay where we are. Mm -hmm. I I need I need that joker. I need that joker. I'm going to take it. Orchid. Here we go. They got their win. Oh, they wouldn't have been jokerless. Oh, that was interesting. Let me know what you thought about that game. I was going to take that joker. That would have made me ready to win, but they got it. Oh, come on. I really, really despise this bottom bar. Come on. I can't see what I'm doing. Okay. Ugh. All right, here we go. Oh, that one kind of had me on my on the edge of my seat, really. And the, and the hand came in right there towards the end. Oh, my goodness. That was kind of stressful, actually. Making them jokerless kind of made me nervous. All right, here we go. We need a good start. I have had really, really rough starts this whole night. Okay, two jokers is nice. Let's see if there's anything we can do. Okay, look at this. Not a single multiple. Look at that spread. Oh my goodness. Okay, process of elimination. We don't need the West. It looks like we are either with a consecutive run 6, 7, 8, 9, or 3, 6, 9. So let's get rid of a 1 
and then let's see six seven eight eight nine nine let's get rid of a six and a one mix the suits up a little bit there we're in between three six nine that's why i wanted to keep that six all right we're going to keep the nine maybe we'll get it back so let's give up the one now one two four so we're in between three six nine and seven eight nine maybe we can play the seven eight no we don't want to play a seven eight nine pair hand because we have two jokers all right let's just see what happens here we got a seven and an eight maybe we could play a quint let's get rid of the south the three let's see we have seven eight nine 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 seven eight three seven three seven hmm let's get rid of the eight okay here we go Marcia says she would have taken that joker I did not want to make them jokerless but I was going to take it at my next pick okay next we can get rid of the three let's focus on seven eight nine maybe even a quint if we pair up in the right place no one two three is not going to help we do have a pair though pair of threes but seven eight nine okay let's do this let's play either like numbers with nines or a quint and keep the threes as joker bait who stopped okay someone stopped the charleston the player to my right did okay um Here we go. Seven, eight, nine. We've got Joker bait. We got a seven and eight. Maybe maybe we should not. Let's see here. If we get oh, there's an eight. Okay, seven, eight, nine. Consecutive run Kong hand in one suit, third from the bottom. Or or if we get six cracks, we could maybe play the consecutive run quint. One bamboo. We'll pass on that. We could probably get rid of the nine dot at this point. Three bamboos. I wouldn't mind getting a six or even a five six. <clears throat> if we get a five crack or a six crack, we Eight might bamboos. be able to play something consecutive. Eight bamboos. One bamboo. One bamboo. Two characters. Five characters. Oh, five bam. Don't need it. Five okay, those three bams, the jokers there are available. So really what we need here Two is characters. six cracks that could send us to a quint or a five crack six crack for consecutive run or flowers for consecutive run right now it's looking pretty sketchy if we get flowers maybe we could do eight nine pun concealed hand and use the sevens as joker bait Six bamboos. i don't know There's another joker. Let's get rid of the eight. eight done. It's already out. We could maybe play the quint. I don't know. Three characters. No, shoot. I was hoping that North wanted those three cracks. I was hoping that would be good Nine joker done. bait, but I don't think it is. There's a five. We got a five. If we can get a six, we could play the consecutive run first hand one suit. Joker. I'm not ready to commit to it yet, though, because we have a gap with no six crack. We've got two tiles before we have to pick yet. Five dots. 
four dots. If a nine crack goes down, we're going to have to decide. Five characters. No. If we play the consecutive run one suit hand, that's a Where pair. And two are down now. There are two five cracks out right now. Five dots. Four bamboo. Seven, eight, nine. Seven, eight, nine Kongs. Maybe what we should do is wait for flowers and play the seven, eight, nine Kong hand to be the safest. If we can get even one flower, we'll be set. Red dragon. Even one flower because we could use the jokers for all of these. Okay, it looks like they're playing a knitted hand. We don't know. Hold on one second here. A flower would be nice or a six crack. Darn it. Okay, so they could be playing consecutive run knitted. Odd knitted or three six nine knitted. They just threw a six. Bam. Okay. We don't need a south. There are no winds out. That's the first wind. No. Second. Second wind. That's odd. Four characters. Six bamboos. I'm wondering if they're playing three six nine over there. Five dots. We don't need a two bam. Two what we really need is a flower. Three dots. I do not want to commit to a Kong hand Seven with dots. no flowers, but you know what? We have very little recourse. We're going to do it. We're just going to play us if we have flowers. Oh, I really hate doing this. But the way these tiles are laid out, we have to wait for flowers. Either that or just play defense. Oh, I don't like committing like this. We need a flower really badly. Surely we'll draw one flower. You think? North wind. Four bamboos. One flower, please. Characters. We need a flower. Two characters. Four characters. Four bamboos. Uh, Seven bamboos. Flowers. Oh, they are so hard to get in Four this game. Characters. Four characters. Oh, there, there are two five. five I'm going to Kong it. There are two five cracks out. The five, seven, nine, I don't Three think characters. is a good potential, though. Nine um. Characters. Because there are no five cracks. I mean, there are two five cracks out. I would have needed more jokers. Hi, Johan. Welcome to the live stream. We need a flower really, really badly right now. But at this point, nobody can call us dead anyway. Either way, the five, seven, nine Kongs require flowers. So we need a flower really badly. Oh, that's why. Oh, no. Oh, shoot. Seven dots. Someone's got a, a pung of flowers out. Two bamboos. Oh, for goodness sake. Five I should have played the quint. I should have played that quint. North wind. Darn it. Two but we couldn't get a six crack. We needed six cracks. Three bamboos. Eight bamboos. Oh, shoot. Eight dots. Hmm. Two characters. We need a posy. Seven dots. Five more picks. Green dragon. We need a posy. Four dots. Eight bamboos. <laughs> Not a single flower yet. Oh, geez. Oh, darn it. Okay, so they had six, seven, eight. I wasn't going to get one. They had them all. Oh, that's why I don't like going for gap hands. Stinking gap hands. And I, did, and I threw the tile. Oh, this is not a good night. I mean, I'm having fun, but 
as far as the game goes. Oh, shoot. What in the world? I missed it again. That's strange. That happened to me once before. Okay, here we go. Okay. Here we go. Let's see. Now we have flowers. We have two. We better use them. Oh my goodness. A pair of Norse, a pair of eights, and a pair of flowers. Those don't go together at all. Not at all. I'm thinking we could focus on a year hand maybe. Or maybe like numbers with twos or two, three, two, three pungs. Let's pass these three and see what happens. Oh boy, this is how the night's been going. Terrible. <laughs> okay, we got a multiple now here with a three. We have an eight. Let's give up a nine. We need to pick. So we have a, no a north, a nine. Let's go ahead and give up there on the, the winds. I'm thinking two, three concealed pungs or twos and threes like numbers maybe. Let's go ahead and give up the eight. So we can give up this eight dot, I think, and focus on two, three consecutive run. And then we got the eight. Let's keep the, the eights. Maybe we'll get the eight back and switch to like numbers with eights. Let's see what comes back around. I would love to win at least one game tonight. Anytime I play, I like to play, I like to win at least once. I don't have to win every hand, but winning at least once when you play is encouraging. Don't you think? Oh, we got an eight. Okay, so now the eight is going to weigh heavier than a pair. So I think we should focus on eights and hold the threes as joker bait. So let's go ahead and, and give up on the twos. Hold the three as joker bait. And play like numbers with eights maybe. Or you know what? We could play two, four, six, eight with flowers, but we have another darn gap. Let's go ahead and break up the three. If we can get a six dot, we could play the first two, four, six, eight hand. There's another eight and we paired up. Hi, Judy. Welcome to the live stream. Okay, so we've got an, a, an eight bam, two multiples there with eights. Let's get rid of the north and the three crack with the four bam. Okay, here we go. I'm thinking like numbers with eights. And we don't have to pick a hand. There are three that we can choose from depending on how the pick and discard goes. We really don't have to pick yet because we could even potentially play a two, four, six, eight pair hand because we have no jokers. We do have a gap though, no six dot. Cross your fingers. A white dragon. Ugh, we could maybe play a year hand. Oh, shoot. All right. Well, let's keep the white for a minute. What about 2018? 2018 with Kongs of Eights, second hand down. We have no cracks though. So yeah, that's not good. We got an eight bam. Okay. Eight bam. So I'm thinking like numbers with eights. Let's give up on the two, four, six, eight. They want two tiles. We can pass the north or the south and the five dot and focus on uh, like numbers with eights. If we can get a red dragon, we could even do the first one. If we get more flowers, we could do the second one. If we get more dragons, we could do the third one. I'm thinking probably the first two are going to be the best because we have no jokers 
and we're missing a suit. We've got a gap for the third hand. So gap can is before. Let's see. Okay, we could still play a two, four, six, eight hand. We could even still play that pair hand if we get eight cracks and a six dot. Maybe we should go ahead and give up the white dragon before anything else and hold on to the two, four. Chris was just saying that we could use jokers for the six dots. The problem is we don't have any jokers. Okay, so now we have 2018. <laughs> This has been a kooky night. Oh, my goodness. Terrible. Oh, gosh. Terrible. Okay, so we're going to get rid of these year tiles here first, I think. Oh, my goodness. Seriously. Okay. <laughs> Why me? Oh, goodness. And then we get a six bam. Oh, gosh. Let's get rid of that <laughs> one bam. <laughs> Chris, <laughs> I'm going to need those jokers. <laughs> oh, my gosh. The way the night has been going is horrible. <laughs> it's just been a terrible night. Every stinking hand. <laughs> and I'm, I'm showing everybody <laughs> how bad it's been. Oh, my gosh. Oh, boy. All right, here we go. <laughs> Uh-oh, Graham. Oh, no. His browser crashed. Oh, no. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's not good, but... <laughs> okay, nine dot. Oh, let's keep the nine dot. Maybe we can use... Play eight, nine with dragons and use the eight bams as joker bait. Oh, my goodness. You would have dumped the white dragon? I don't like passing white dragons. I'd rather keep the white dragon and get rid of it during pick and discard. It really didn't cripple me as far as passing. So I really don't like passing white dragons. I think they're just like passing a flower, in my opinion. I'll discard them, but I don't like passing them unless I have to. I did pass them a couple times. We'll get rid of that. I did pass white dragons a couple times tonight against my better judgment. I don't think that it had any effect, though. I don't think anybody played hardly anything with white, white dragons tonight that I remember, anyway. All right, come on now. We need flowers or red dragons. Oh, look, there's a four. Oh, boy. Okay, so if we can get a six dot and... Um, eight crack we might be able to switch to the pair hand at this point i still think we're strongest towards like numbers Nine dots. oh graham i'm sorry that's a bummer i know the game will throw for you even if you have technical difficulties the game doesn't care there's no love there at all oh look what we got we got the six okay Oh, oh my goodness. That was tenuous. Is that the right word? Okay, so we've got our full range. Two, four, six, eight now. Or, oh, we got an eight dot. If we can get a six dot, or we can still play like numbers with eights and use the fours as joker bait. We'll see what happens. There's a two dot out right now. There's a two dot out. If we get the two dot, I'll probably go for that first hand. We'll see. It just seems like such a waste to get rid of these eight bams. <gasps> There's the two dot. Okay, we got it secure. Now we can just use a joker for the six if we can't get, if we can't draw a six. Maybe we could even push it to pure. Two bamboos. Five 
Joker. Oh my goodness, this is the most encouraged I've been so far tonight. We're set. Green dragon. There's the flower. We're ready to win on a six die. Oh my goodness. Oh, there it is, Mahjong. <laughs> we got one! Woohoo! The first one of the night. Oh my gosh, that was hard fought, I'm telling ya. Oh my goodness seek. Oh. <laughs> okay, let's try to play one more game. We got in a win, finally. Okay, now this last game for the session, we're gonna play fixed. I'm gonna pick a hand right away. Okay, we're gonna play fixed. We've been talking about adaptive style versus fixed. Adaptive would be where you don't pick a hand till you run out of discards. Fixed is where you pick a hand right away. So we're gonna pick a hand. Okay, here we go. We're gonna pick a hand right away. Oh, this goes against every, every fiber of my being. Okay, here we go. Let's pick a hand. Okay, we're gonna pick a hand. We're gonna pick. Okay, force hands. Oh, thank you, Peg. Okay, so I think we should probably go ahead and play something three, six, nine. Let's get rid of the east two, one. We do have the one. Maybe we should play a pair hand. Um, east two, let's get rid of the seven. Five, seven, seven, nine. Five, seven, seven, nine, which one? Which hand, Judy? Five, seven, seven, nine, we have no fives. We have no fives. Let's see what we get. I'm thinking three, six, nine. Here's a six and a nine. Three, six, nine. Three, six, nine. We'll give up the eight, the one, and the seven. So we're playing three, six, nine here. Threes and nines, yeah. We can get rid of the two, seven, one. Okay, west, seven, one. Let's, let's give up the four or, yeah, the four. I don't want to, I want to be left with a good pass. Okay, so three, six, nine. Three, six, nine. We're picking a hand here. We're at a place where we can actually pick a hand. Three, six, six, nine. We have a gap if we play the second hand down. Or we could play three, six, nine. Nines, third, second or third hand. I'm thinking the second or third hand or even the fourth hand. Oh, look, we got a three crack. Okay, we're going to pick a hand. We're going to play the three, six, nine mixed suit Kong hand. We're going to pick a hand right now. Three, six, nine mixed suit Kongs. Let's see what happens. No straying away from the hand. We're going to stay fixed on 369 uh, mix suit Kong hand. So we're gonna get rid of these four tiles here. This would be the fourth hand down is what we're gonna play. We got in a multiple, we can use that maybe as joker bait. Let's go ahead and pass these three, mix it up a little bit here. I don't wanna be left with like numbers though. Okay, here we go, 369 mix suit Kongs. That's what we're playing. We're gonna stick with it. Oh, we got Joker bait. Nine crack red west. That's what we're throwing. We've got two pair of Joker bait here. We're playing the 369 mix suit Kong hand. Oh, we got a keeper. And we can pass three. It's going to be a really risky pass, though. Let's give up the threes. 
and keep the ones. I don't want to pass a two and a one together for a year hand. We need to mitigate that risk. That's still risky though. Here we go. Three, six, nine Kong hand, mixed suits. This is the fourth hand down under three, six, nine. No keepers. Okay, let's get rid of the dragon first. I want to get rid of these year tiles. I want to keep the ones though as joker bait. Three, six, nine Four. knitted. Wait for greens. We have we we don't have any nine cracks. I already gave up the nine crack. I gave up the nine crack in the Charleston because we only had one of them. Four dots. And we have a flower. I kind of like to leverage that flower because I never get them. I should get rid of this five crack or the five bam. The five bam was already discarded. I should have kept that five One dot. Character. Two bamboos. Red dragon. Five bamboos. I don't know how to use these emojis Nine in dots. here. No, we're not ready for it. We are not ready for that. One dot. That is a bummer. North wind. South. I'm trying to find a thumbs up and I can't find a thumbs up, Alyeska. I was gonna give you a thumbs up, but I can't find it. Oh, here we go. There it is. Okay, there we go. I found it. Nine characters. White dragon. I'm getting rid of it. Uh oh eight dots six characters oh my goodness i don't know how this works oh there we go oh my goodness what a mess good night chris thank you so much for coming and thank you for your support as always one dot. lots of dragons and one more flower jokers jokers will do one character Another white dragon. White dragon. We need a joker for that nine dot. There are no six bams out yet. White dragon. We have no jokers, so this is gonna be tight. We got five discards, but it includes a pair of joker bait. I want to hold on to it until we get right about, oh, there's another one, bam. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's kind of the way the night's been going. Seriously. Oh, my goodness. Five characters. Four characters. Oh, nine, bam. We'll keep it. Two dots. We need to get rid of the ones right about where the West moniker is. East wind. This two dot is available. That joker right there, that would be nice to get. We need it. One, One, three, three, five. We have no five cracks and there are two out. There are two five cracks out already. We would need two jokers and we have none. It's a nice idea, Judy, but I think that it's a greater long shot than what we currently have. And plus, we're playing a fixed hand. We're playing fixed where we pick a hand. We picked three, six, nine mixed suit gongs. So we're going to pick it and stick with it. Three bamboos. I discarded what? Well, because there are two, there were two five cracks already out. That's why I discarded the five crack. Because there are two already out. We would need two jokers to complete that. And we have none. And we need jokers anyway. Two bamboos. 
But I understand why you would want to do that. Six bamboo. Oh, no. Now we need three jokers. This is why I don't like to play fixed. One bamboo. Nope. And I don't think anybody wants it. That's too bad. East wind. Okay, we got the flower anyway. Three bamboo. So now we need three jokers. Nine characters. We need two for the six three bams bamboo. and one for the nine dot. Five characters. Oh, there's one. We got one. Two dot. Okay, that's helpful. Now one we can call on the nine dot and we just need two more jokers for the six bam. Five, yep, there's two five dots out right now. Yeah, one, three, five mixed suit. I'm going to get rid of the one. Yeah, there are two five dots out. And there's a, we only have one joker. Either way, we're going to need three, you know, three jokers in all at the moment. West wind. Four characters. We have three discards at the moment, and we have a, almost a full Two wall. Bamboos. This is still viable, this hand. Eight dots. Nine bamboos. Nope. Yeah, those are all out. Let's throw the nine. These are safe nine tiles. Bamboos. The six crack. These are all safe tiles. There are three of each of them out. Eight characters. So those are all safe tiles. Oh, Joker, we got it. Look at that. Nice. There are no three cracks out yet. Four dots. Ooh. Oh, it's already out. That That's already out. Okay, I'm looking for a crossed finger uh, emoji. I don't see. There it is. No, we don't want that. Okay, I'm learning how to use the chat feature in YouTube. Punk. Oh, now, oh no, those are all out Punk. too. Oh, darn it. Two, three, four, Kong hand. Okay, we, get, we were getting there, two away. All right. Oh, uh, Graham got it. Okay. So do you guys want to play one more hand? We can maybe play one more hand if you guys want to. I know. Two away. Darn it. Okay, let's play one more. If you all need to go, I understand. But we're, we'll play, oh, we missed it. What do you mean it's already going? Here we go. Okay, one more, one more game. And we're gonna play adaptive, adaptive style. We're gonna go with the flow, stay at the category level. We have a pung of fours. I'm thinking two, three, or four, five, six, three, four, five, six consecutive run. If we get fours, we could maybe play like numbers. Fours, dragons, three, four, five, knitted. Let's get rid of the six crack. We could play four, five, six consecutive run Kong hand in mixed suits. Thank you for coming by, Judy. Okay, we got a dragon. Let's give up the north, the one, and the two. We'll see if we can play maybe something consecutive. If we get fours, we can play like numbers with fours. If I had jokers, I'd try for a quint. Okay, we have a three and a six. We could play four, five, six knitted. Let's go ahead, let's see, 
four, five, six knitted with the red dragon or three, four, five knitted with the white dragon. Let's give up the six band. Either consecutive run knitted or like numbers with fours. We only have one four though. We need the other fours. There's a green dragon and a four. I think that kind of uh, solidifies it for me. We've got a multiple with the dragon now. Like numbers with fours, I think, is what we need to do. And there are three hands we could play. We don't have to pick a hand yet. Let's discard these three. Like numbers with fours. And this will be the last game for this session. Next week's session is going to be Hong Kong Mahjong. So if you're like uh, Asian versions, join me for Hong Kong Mahjong next time. Okay, we have tiles we can discard here. I think I'm going to keep that north. We could maybe play a quint if we get some jokers. We don't need those. Let's get rid of them. I want to keep all the dragons because we could use those for like numbers. We got a south. Okay, let's pass. Let's do a full pass. Nobody wanted the north. Let's pass it. It went around the Charleston. We'll give it back. If we play a quint, maybe we could do it with the south. We just got a south. If we can get some jokers, I think we could play a quint. Okay, we've got discards. One bamboo. Get rid of the eight. Eight carrots. Win. So we're in between like numbers or a quint. Three dots. The quint's a long shot. Six dots. West is out. We can get rid of that. West win. North win. Four. Oh, we needed that four for like numbers. Ooh, oh, the north, it's already out. Shoot. Yeah, that would have been hard anyway because even if we kept it, we would have a pair and one would have been out. I think we could get rid of it. And there it is. Oh, that's too bad. North wind. We don't have any jokers, though. Two so I don't think a quint would be advisable with no jokers at this stage. Four bamboo. Oh, we need that. White dragon. North wind. Four bamboos. So I'm thinking probably like numbers is most likely the category for us. We're going to probably need jokers, though, because there's already a four crack out there. And there's two four bams out there. No, only one white dragon is out at the moment. So if we get rid of a dragon, that would probably be a good one to get rid of. Two dots. West wind. Hmm. So this 6-8 does kind of make me think about playing a 2-4-6-8 hand, but there are two two dots out right now. And, um, yeah, the two dots being out 
Yeah, I don't know if that's going to be a good plan. There goes the south. Let's get rid of the south. We have a gap. Even though we just paired up the six, we have a gap if we're going to play two, four, six, eight. But we do have a multiple in there. If we can get that two dot, we could switch to two, four, six, eight. Oop. It'd be helpful if I get them in order. There we go. Nine characters. We could maybe play the two, four, six, eight pair hand. Oh, look at we got a we got a dragon. We just got a dragon. Yep, two dots are out. I am fully aware of that. That's why I was thinking we could play the two, four, six, eight concealed hand, but now we have all these dragons. I think we should use the six dot as joker bait and play like numbers concealed or defense. Oh, there's a, there is a uh, flower that we can maybe take. So these reds could go here. There we go. Let's take that. I hope it, that doesn't make them pure, but we need that. Let's see. We could still maybe play like numbers with fours and greens. We still don't have to pick a hand yet. So let's see what they could be playing. Four flowers with sevens. They're playing an addition hand. Seven, five, twelve. We just don't know if they're playing one suit or if they're playing mixed suits. There's two one dots out, one one crack and one one bam. Let's just, we just have to wait and see. There are two five dots out, four. I'm gonna throw the one. One character. They could be playing with mixed suit bams. If they're playing with dots, they're in, they're hurting. Five dots. Six dots. One dot. Three bamboo. I'm kind of thinking that the. Oh, we don't need that. Ooh, here we go. There's a joker. Eight dots. Seven okay, so I'm thinking maybe the Kong hand with flowers. Ugh, all these flowers though. There's four out. There's one only, character. there's four left or three left because I have one. We have a pair in here. No four bams. The f jokers could be the four bams though. There's two four bams out. We still don't have to pick though. We have to decide now. I'm not going to take it. We're going to play the concealed hand. We have three discards. We're kind of in between. And I would not have been able to take that green dragon if I had taken the Kong with fours. I think we're better off staying concealed. Red dragon. Pass. We're going to stay concealed. Stealth mode. Three dots. There are two four four dot or four bams out, Six two four bams, bams and two four cracks. So we still have some flexibility in here. Four characters. Oh shoot. Okay, so that has to be a pair. Oh no. Four bam. Oh shoot. Okay. We need to recover now. Because the pair potential is very, very limited at the moment. Nine dots. Okay, white, green, four, red. Oh my goodness. Six dots. We don't have much recourse here. There's two white two dragons characters. out at right now. Should you define a joker as a four band? Yeah, probably. But we're so far from winning right now though. We need jokers. Seven characters. Four, and that white dragon. East wind. 
Yeah, this is, oh, that's such a waste. They just didn't come in fast enough. Hmm. All right, let's see here. The red dragons. Maybe what we should do. Oh, the white. We got the white. Oh, no. It threw it. Did you see that? I wanted to keep that. All right, that's okay. All right, that was the last white dragon. We should probably switch to defense anyway. Oh, I'm taking it. Okay. There we go. All right, we'll get rid of the fours and play fours with dragons. Oh, I know, that was discouraging because I was going to switch back to the concealed hand. Okay, Kong. Kong. Four. I need another, I need two more, I need another Joker for my red Three dragon. Bamboos. And we need a flower and we only have one more pick. Three characters. Six characters. Two bamboos. Okay, game over. Oh, that was really hard. Okay, so I had green dragons. Did anybody need them? No. What were they playing over here? What in the world were they playing over there? Oh, eight, seven, twelve. They couldn't get five dots. Okay, so this player couldn't get five dots. Oh no, no, five bams. They couldn't get five bams. This player, they were they couldn't get white dragons, which I was which I threw just a minute ago. They couldn't get one bams. And then this player was ready to win on a flower. Good thing I didn't throw away that flower. Okay, everybody, I think that's it for the live stream. Thank you so, so much for coming to the live stream. It was so much fun. Even though we won just one game, did we win a game? I don't remember. It was fun anyway. I always have a good time. And I appreciate so much the community here. So uh, thank you so much for your support. I hope that you had a good time. And if you're watching the repost, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the session. Just remember, I do live streams every Sunday. The first Sunday of the month is for American Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules at Mahjong time. Well, all the games are at Mahjong time. And then on the second Sunday is Mahjong um, Hong Kong rules. Hong Kong Mahjong. Third Sunday is going to be Siamese Mahjong, which is in beta right now. We're just testing it. And then the fourth Sunday is Ricci. Any fifth Sundays will be Mahjong competition rules. So that's the plan. That's the schedule. If you're free on Sunday nights, 7 p.m. Eastern, we'll be live streaming. Unless I'm traveling or not feeling well, which does happen occasionally. So thank you very much. Hi, Mary. Thank you so much, everybody, for coming. It was a lot of fun, and I really appreciate the support. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Be sure and click the little gray bell after you subscribe. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos, and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next live stream, may all your picks be keepers.